the things the board is looking at is approaching both Bruce and Gray counties uh, about uh, trying to make this more of a countywide regional uh, service. Uh, and that way the, uh, uh, the county would take it over and could amalgamate it or, or integrate it with the other transit services that uh, the county has going or supplies. Uh, there are, like, uh, Owen Sound has uh, one Funding on everything is being looked at uh, all over. The other part that uh, most people don't know is if you do have a, a regular transit system, you must have some type of a transit system for the disabled. So if this goes in to play with the, um, the buses or vans that we're talking about running from uh, uh, Owen Sound down to Orangeville, uh, then this smart transit could be tied in with that as well and uh, we could reduce costs on administration all kinds of things. So uh, that's kind of some of the stuff we're looking at. Go ahead. And just to clarify, <coughs> the, the service is available to anyone who is temporarily <coughs> using any kind of assistive device. Correct. So if you know, you're in a car accident and you've broken your leg, you can't drive, you qualify for this service. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be permanently incapacitated in, in you know, requiring a wheelchair. It's, it's True. a great program, yep. but it's costly. It is. Any other questions on items in 9.2? Seeing none, all in favor? Resolutions from other municipalities. Be it resolved that council receive the item on the resolution from other municipalities consent agenda dated March 6, 2019, and direct staff to proceed with all necessary administrative actions. So there's no need to pull it because it's only the one item. Do I have a mover for this? Martin and Bart, any discussion? meeting for, for us. 